Good day guys, welcome to the probability series. Yes, the long awaited probability is here, the almighty probability is here. And um, in probability, we are going to be treating the introductory aspect, then we go into permutation and combination. After that, we go into conditional probabilities random variables and um, we're going to treat lastly probability distribution let's get started welcome back yeah the introductory aspect firstly let's try to def let's try to understand some terms because we're going to be using the terms we're going to be using them very well as we go on in this tutorial um firstly what is a random experiment a random experiment is anything anything that is capable of giving an outcome any experiment that is carried out anything carried out that is capable of giving an outcome is random experiment for example now tossing a coin if i toss a coin is either i get head or i get tail it's you get an, an outcome you get an outcome when you toss a coin so it's an experiment another is throwing a die you get from one to six so that's also an experiment okay now what is the sample space sample space is all the possible outcomes you get when carrying uh, when carrying an experiment all the possible outcomes you can get in an experiment so all the possible outcomes you can get in an experiment let's take for example tossing a coin what will be the sample space head is either you get head or you get the tail what if you are tossing two coins what if you are tossing two coins what will be the sample space what are all the possible outcomes that's head head yes head tail yes tail head yes tail tail these are the possible outcomes you can get then that is a sample space and it goes on like that like that if it's if it was a die the sample space would be one to six and if it is two dice then you have one 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 two one three like that you go to one two 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 three until you get to six okay now what is random event Random event is what you get when you carry out an experiment. The one you get exactly when you carry out an experiment. So, for example, now if I toss a coin, I only get one outcome, isn't it? If I toss a coin, it's either I get head or tail. It's one that will show. So that one that shows is a random event. Is a random event. The one that shows is the random event. Okay, and um, probability of an event occurring. This one is actually a formula. What is the probability of an event occurring? The probability of an event occurring is the number of that event all over the sample number of the sample space. So let's take for example if I toss a, a, a coin, if I toss okay, let's take for example. This is a question if two coins are tossed what is the probability of having both heads now from what we know from what we know if you toss two coins is either you get what head 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 tail tail head or you get tail tail now what's the probability of them showing two of them showing heads remember that remember that the probability of an event occurring probability of both heads occurring is what the number of times edge two head can appear the number of two heads number of time two heads can appear all over sample number of the sample space remember so how many times can two head appear if i toss two coins just once two heads can only appear once so that's what one all over what's the sample space one two three four all over four then that is it it's as simple as that okay 
what if you were tossing just one one coin what's the probability of having one head so the probability of an head appearing when you toss one coin is what i mean if you toss one coin is either you get head or tail so head the probability of having head and the number of head you can get in tossing a coin all over the number of the sample space sample space is written as s short form s so number of heads one over two which is the sample space and that is it it's as simple as that okay now this takes us to the elementary aspect of probability and somehow somehow we've treated the elementary aspect with this coin and everything and i'm going to treat there's there's this other one that we are very familiar with is speaking of uh, stuffs in a bag balls in a bag like take for example now A bag contains two red balls and two, six blue balls. Find the probability of picking red and blue if two balls are chosen as random with replacement. That's the question. Um, remember, what is the probability of an event occurring? Probability of an event occurring equals to the number of that event all over the number of the sample space, isn't it? Okay. Now the number of the events, the event here now is probability of picking red and blue, red and blue. So first and foremost, you want to know the probability of picking red. What is the probability of picking red in this red? The number of red is three. And what is the sample space? All the balls in the bag nine, which is what one all over three. Okay. Now what is the probability of picking blue probability of picking blue is six out of nine remember you have six blue balls in the bag and the sample space is still nine but so probability of picking does two uh over three okay that's good now but the question is that you should find probability of picking blue and red red and blue and that was okay now there is something you need to note in probability wherever you see and it is multiplication and wherever you see or is what addition please try to note this wherever you see and it is multiplication wherever i see or it is addition now what is the probability of picking blue and red blue and red that's what probability of picking blue times probability of picking red probability of picking red and that's why you have that rule probability of a intersection b equals the probability of a probability of b as probability of a and b occurring is what probability of a times probability of b okay that's good now let's continue probability of picking blue is two over three times probability of picking red is one over three and that's what two all over nine two all over nine okay now what i'm going to stop here and uh, try to elaborate more on this in the next video sorry i already made this video i forgot to start the screen record so i'd written everything in fact i had completed the video not knowing that i didn't start the screen record for the system so i just have to do the voiceover it's already written there i just have to do the voiceover okay yes so remember um, we stopped here in the previous video in the previous session we stopped here and um, we only did for one of them which is blue and red 
we didn't do for the other which is red and blue though to you it might be the same yeah it is the same it's actually the same but then the question did not specify the order so you have to put all the possible orders you have so now we already did for blue and red now it is time to do for red and blue because if you are picking blue red ball and you are picking blue ball is either you pick red first and then blue or you pick blue first and then red so the order you have to put the two you have two possible ways with which you can pick so you have to put them there so this is for blue and red then the same thing goes for red and blue so probability of picking red probability of picking blue then you would now add remember the norm would the ways with which you could have picked blue and red is red first and blue second or pick blue first and then red second so this all here is what addition so what's the probability of picking red and blue first that's three two over nine remember i've already done it all blue and red is still two over nine and the answer is what add everything four over nine now this is a question in a bag they have four blue balls two three red balls two yellow balls now if three balls are picked at random with replacements find the probability that they are blue red and yellow now remember blue red and yellow you are picking three balls and they are each of them are each of the colors they didn't really specify the order blue first red second yellow third no so you have to tell all the possible ways which which with which these colors can be picked so that's blue red yellow or you could have picked it as blue yellow red or you could have picked a yellow blue red and like that like that and like that now you have six possible ways so instead of you doing four okay yeah probability of picking blue is four over nine red is one over three two is two over nine remember from the probability you understand that aspect instead of you now doing four one times this times this then you do for this other one so which is blue four over nine times yellow two over nine times red one over three and you do for this one too you realize that they are all the same thing it's just that they are just a little bit they are just arranged it's still the same thing everything still gives 8 over 420 uh, 420 uh, 243 8 over 243 everything still gives 8 over, 8 over 243 so the best way is since you know you have six of them you just write one of them multiply by the number of ways with which you can rearrange them which is six and then this this brings us to how we can always get this number of ways because if you know the number of ways then you'll be able to solve it quickly and this brings us to permutation and combination in the next video we're going to treat permutation and combination but before we go before we switch on to the next video i would like to quickly point out something on uh, which with or without replacement you know in this kind of case which replacement you see the this the in, in which replacement you see the sample space is retained but in without replacement the sample space reduces because as you are picking you are not replacing so that one that you have picked out is no more in the overall sample space then it reduces it reduces so if you are picking these balls without replacement it would have been blue first that's still four over nine without replacement and picking the next as red now i've picked one of them out the probability of picking that one out is four over nine since one is gone out of it now you have eight of them eight in total in the bag and the probability of picking red is three out of eight and um, now i have picked one red and what is left seven of them then probability of picking yellow is two out of seven so that is that for without replacement in the next video we are going to treat permutation and combination thank you very much i am fit or last sunday